quick um, insulation update. I have most of the insulation done. This is just the back wall. That still owns Corning thermofiber. It's not real good. It claims that it does sound and fire, but <clears throat> I can hear right through it. I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to do something for sound absorption. There's a lot of inconsistent ones too. Some of them are really soft and squishy. Others are really super firm. So uh, this area I'm still going to work on. I got some drywall and framing things to work out. So I'm just going to leave this undone for a little while. This area, <clears throat> I pretty much packed insulation in every everywhere there's a stud. That's probably not necessary. I'm sure it's overkill, but I just wanted to make sure that there weren't any hollow areas. I don't know what kind of resonating there might be when you're looking at having subwoofers running. Up there is where the projector is going to come out. And yeah, I know it's not centered. The lens shift on the projector will take care of that. So that's pretty much why I let it go. And that back there is pretty much going to be like the technology area I've mentioned in a previous video. I've got internet, HD based T. Um, <clears throat> this area is going to be left open because I'm going to run a run a chase through here when I get everything drywalled. That way I can pull in the HDMI cables. There's two of them. They're both fiber. I didn't want to run them through a, a box in case they got damaged with the drywall and the drilling of the holes. above I've got a lot of the thick uh, insulation probably didn't need that in there either but I did it anyways just wanted to be consistent and this area is not going to be finished until all the drywall is up because I'm going to build it <clears throat> going to be building a little entertainment area out of out of wood so I'm just going to leave that leave these fins unfinished until up through the drywall is done. And then I got the HDMI cables, kind of foamed it in just to seal up the hole and keep the cables sturdy. This back corner I had the thermofiber insulation. That was the very first thing I put in to kind of test it out. And I decided to just leave it in. I didn't think it would hurt anything. And then up there is the outside spigot access. That window I'm going to seal over. <clears throat> I got a lot of insulation packed in there. I'm just going to drywall over it. 
I was going to frame it out and fill it, but I'm just going to ignore it, pretend it doesn't even exist. Um, if I do decide to sell the house, I can pop a roto zip in there, drill out the hole, pull out the insulation, and then put some trim on it. It should be fine. closet. I'm not going to insulate up above. I have insulation between the rafters. Plus I ran out. I was going to put some in if I had extra, but I ran out so I'm not going to bother. <clears throat> and I had some I had some gaps where I put the wall in. So I just did some expanding foam in there. Um it kind of expanded a little too much, so I had to cut it, to shave it out of there. Same on this side. I guess I could have probably left it, but I thought maybe bugs or something were going to get in there and then work their way down to the baseboard and then get in from you know where the carpet meets, meets the ground. There'll be way too big of a gap there. And then I just tried to pack insulation in everywhere I could. Um, I didn't get behind this stud. I probably won't bother with that. And then I did run out of insulation, so there's a few areas that are I'm going to have to come back and revisit. And then I did some expanding foam again down at these seams just to kind of seal that shut. Well, that's it. That's it for the drywall. Uh, the drywall is going next. I'm going to probably be putting that up in all the ceiling areas but as far as insulation goes I still have to finish out this area and the, the door, the entrance area I do have this hallway down here I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna insulate all that up above I may. I'm also going to replace this light with a pot light. I may throw another one in somewhere towards the middle of this area just to even out the lighting. And then this this wall with the door, I'm not going to ins insulate that. I didn't think that would be necessary since it just goes into a unfinished basement. 